Lung flukes, scientifically known as Paragonimus westermanni, were first discovered by Ringer in 1879. This discovery happened when Ringer found the adult flukes in the lungs of a tiger in Taiwan. Subsequently, the flukes have been identified in a range of other mammalian hosts, including humans, and are recognized as a significant cause of parasitic infections in various parts of the world, particularly in East Asia. The infection route of lung flukes, particularly Paragonimus westermanni, is a complex process involving multiple hosts and stages. The life cycle begins with eggs being excreted in the feces of an infected mammalian host, including humans. Once these eggs reach freshwater, they hatch into larval forms called myricidia. These myricidia infect a suitable freshwater snail, the first intermediate host in the cycle. Within the snail, the myricidia undergo several developmental stages, eventually transforming into another larval form known as cercarii. These cercarii are released into the water by the snail and then seek out a second intermediate host, usually a freshwater crustacean like a crab or crayfish. Upon infecting this host, the cercarii insist and become metacercarii, the infective stage for the final host. Human infection occurs when people consume raw or undercooked freshwater crustaceans harboring these metacercarii. Once ingested, the metacercarii exist in the duodenum, penetrate the intestinal wall, and migrate through the abdominal cavity to reach the lungs. In the lungs, they mature into adult flukes, settling in the lung tissue where they begin producing eggs. Some of these eggs are expelled from the body through coughing and swallowing, passing out in feces and potentially starting the cycle anew if they reach freshwater. This route of infection highlights why lung fluke infections are more common in regions where consuming raw or undercooked freshwater crustaceans is a dietary practice, especially in parts of East Asia. Prevention strategies focus on proper cooking of these crustaceans and avoiding their raw consumption to break the cycle of infection. Lung fluke infection, caused by the parasite Paragonimus westermanni, results in a condition known as paragonomyosis, primarily affecting the lungs but potentially involving other organs. The symptoms associated with this infection can vary and often develop gradually, making diagnosis challenging. A persistent and chronic cough is one of the most common manifestations of lung fluke infection. This cough may produce sputum, which in some cases, can contain blood. Coughing up blood, or hemoptysis, is a significant and distinctive symptom, occurring due to the damage and inflammation in the lung tissues inflicted by the parasites. Individuals with lung fluke infection may also experience chest pain and difficulty breathing. These symptoms arise from the lung inflammation and damage caused by the flukes. Fever is another symptom that may accompany the infection, although it is not always present. General feelings of tiredness and being unwell, known as fatigue and malaise, are commonly reported. In more chronic cases, the infection can lead to weight loss and a decrease in appetite, further contributing to the overall feeling of illness. Additionally, if the lung flukes migrate to or infect organs outside of the lungs, such as the liver or intestines, individuals may experience gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea and abdominal pain. The range and intensity of these symptoms can vary widely and often resemble those of other respiratory illnesses, such as tuberculosis or lung cancer. Diagnosis typically requires a combination of clinical assessment, chest x-rays, examination of sputum, and sometimes serological tests. High suspicion is essential for diagnosis, particularly in areas where paragonimus species are endemic. Treating lung fluke infections, specifically those caused by the parasite paragonimus westermanni, is primarily centered around the use of antiparasitic medications. The most commonly used drug is praziquantel which is effective in damaging the parasite's skin, leading to its paralysis and eventual death. The typical course of praziquantel treatment spans two to three days. Another effective medication is triclabendazole, often administered as a single dose, and known for its efficacy against paragonimus infections. Alongside these specific antiparasitic treatments, supportive care plays a vital role, particularly in cases where the infection has led to significant symptoms or complications. Pain relief measures, such as over-the-counter pain relievers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen, may be used to alleviate chest pain and other discomforts associated with the infection. To manage a persistent cough, which is a common symptom, 
cough suppressants or expectorants might be prescribed. Additionally, in situations where there are complications like secondary bacterial infections, the appropriate use of antibiotics is crucial. Prevention strategies are also key in managing lung fluke infections. This includes educating people about the risks of consuming raw or undercooked freshwater crustaceans, the primary source of infection, and encouraging safer dietary practices. For individuals suspected of having a lung fluke infection, seeking medical attention is crucial for obtaining an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Depending on the severity of the infection and the patient's overall health, the treatment plan may vary. To ensure the complete clearance of the infection, regular follow-up and possibly repeated stool examinations may be necessary.